Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about the halo effect and the horn effect. Two cognitive biases that are all based around first impressions of other people and even the things we buy. So let me first share about the halo effect. The halo effect is that cognitive bias that you can experience whenever you first come in contact with a person that you find is physically attractive or you like the way that they're dressed or maybe they're extra nice to you. And what happens is from this first impression, you start to make judgments about other things about their personality that you don't even know about. For instance, you might start assuming because of this first impression that is so positive, you start assuming that they're kind or they're generous or they're trustworthy or they're smart. Different things about their personality that you really don't know, but you're basing them off that first impression. When you do that, you're experiencing the halo effect. Think of it kind of like that saying of love is blind. Whenever you love someone that you don't even see their faults. But what happens in this situation is you're making a mental shortcut when you have just first come in contact with someone. You begin to assume these other positive things about them and ignoring anything that might be negative. This can also happen through marketing. Say for instance, you see an advertisement for a product or a service and it features one of your favorite actors. You can begin to think more highly about that product or service just because that actor is advertising it. So it affects your overall judgment. Now let's talk about the horn effect. This is similar in that you're making judgments, but it is just the opposite. In this situation, somebody for some reason has made a poor first impression with you. Maybe you consider them poorly dressed or maybe they didn't smile at you when you wish that they would have. And what happens is then you can attribute other negative things about them. You might then start to assume that they are not trustworthy or assume that they don't have any credibility or they're not very smart. So it's taking that unfair mental shortcut about a person, but on the negative side. Now, the concept of these cognitive biases were introduced by Edward Thorndike, an American psychologist in 1920. He asked commanding officers to rate soldiers that they hadn't even had any interactions with. And they found that the, the commanding officers that rated soldiers high in one area, such as physical appearance, they then rated them high in other areas, such as leadership, intelligence, without even having any interaction with them. And if commanding officers rated soldiers in one area low, such as their physical appearance, they tended to rate them low in other areas as well. So how do you get past having these cognitive biases? Well, the first is self-awareness is the first step. Realizing that your brain is making these mental shortcuts, you can make really poor judgments about people, either positive or negative, about the people that you hire, the people that you date, the businesses that you do business with, the products and services that you purchase. The second step is to slow down, get data points, get factual information before you start making judgments about people or about products and services. Find real life examples so that it takes out the emotion and you're looking at true factual data. And third, get an opinion from a trusted outsider, somebody that you know well, but who has no vested interest in the decision. A lot of times it's hard to see the picture when you're in the frame. If you found this video helpful, I hope you'll share it and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.